My brothers and sisters, the solutions to all our problems are within revelation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us. He knows us better than we know ourselves. Many times we go through issues and problems and we're looking for solutions where we will never find them. People are looking for happiness and they look at the prohibitions of Allah and they want to find happiness in that which Allah has prohibited. It's not going to come. It's very short lived, a fake sense of perhaps ecstasy that a person might feel. And thereafter, there is regret for a long, long time. No matter what it is, be it someone who wants quick money in the wrong way, they pinch or they are corrupt or they have bribed or they have stolen. They will live with that fear for a long, long time. There will be no blessings in that money. There will never ever be a moment where the person is actually very happy without any worry or concern. But when you hand your affairs to Allah, even if you are struggling, even if you are going through challenges, your health, your wealth, your family, you will be such a happy person. You will be smiling within you, let alone just on your face. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that happiness. If we look at the Quran, it has in it a lot of messages that are very, very powerful. They are reminders. When Allah blesses you, He knows what you deserve. And he knows what perhaps is better for you right now. Sometimes you and I don't deserve luxury in this world because it may result in us turning away from Allah. So Allah says, I'm not going to give it to you. And you are so upset and angry and praying and asking and saying, Oh Allah, I want this. I want this. I want this. Allah says, I know I'm not going to give it to you because I love you. If I'm going to give it to you, it's not going to be good for you. You and I will not have a good relationship. You will forget me. You will go away from me. You are going to drop into sin and that which is deviant such that in the hereafter, the eternal life will be lost. The best thing, let me let you not have what you want for a few years. And then when you come to me, I will give you everything you want. Subhanallah. But man, especially those who don't believe. Allah says, nay, you love that which is right in front of you and you forget that which is to come, which is eternal. You love this worldly life such that in it you want what you want, but you are forgetting that the eternal life, sorry, you love this temporary life, and you are forgetting that the eternal life that is to come is the reality. It is what you need to work for. What is your wealth going to do for you? Do you know that wealth when it is given to you is a very big test from Allah. Children when they are given to you, they are a very big test from Allah. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Anfal. Verse number 27. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. لا تخون الله والرسول وتخون أماناتكم وأنتم تعلمون. O oh, you who believe, O oh, you who believe, do not attempt to deceive Allah or to deceive His Messenger. You won't be able to. You are deceiving yourself. What do you think you're doing? O oh, you who believe. Be loyal, be faithful unto Allah and His Messenger. You say La ilaha illallah. You know it means there is none worthy of worship besides Allah, but you are worshiping everything besides Allah and you are not worshiping Allah. That is the essence of Tawheed.